Hi everyone! Today I'm going to share some useful advice on how to fix the Bluetooth not available issue on Mac. While Bluetooth issues are rare, they do occur and throw everything up in the air when they do. Suddenly you can't use your system in the way you're used to and have to figure out different ways to complete tasks. But don't panic, there's usually an easy fix. In this video, I'm going to explain how to fix the Bluetooth not available issue and talk you through some of the most common Bluetooth troubleshooting tips. Before we get into the troubleshooting steps, it's best to start with the basics. And it really doesn't get any more basic than switching things off and on again. While this seems like a lazily obvious suggestion, a lot of Mac problems can be fixed with a restart. Open the Apple menu and choose System Preferences. Here, click Bluetooth. Select the option to turn Bluetooth off. Once it's switched off, turn it back on by clicking on Turn Bluetooth On. If the Bluetooth not available error hasn't gone away, try rebooting your Mac. Shut down the system completely and restart it as usual. To do this, open the Apple menu and click Restart. If this didn't help, it's time for some serious troubleshooting. Remove all USB devices. Apple is aware that Bluetooth connectivity is an issue for Mac users and has a dedicated support page for Mac mouse problems, as well as possible fixes for unresponsive keyboards and trackpads. One quick fix to kick the Bluetooth back into life is to disconnect all USB devices. Remove all USB keyboards, mice, and external drives and restart your Mac. Wait for a couple minutes and then reconnect them. It's a quirky tip, but it might be all it takes to restore the Bluetooth connection. Reset the SMC if Bluetooth is not available on Mac. Resetting the System Management Controller, SMC, is the go-to troubleshooting tip for any issues related to Mac hardware or software, and it usually works. The process is different depending on which type of Mac you're using, but we've got you covered with all methods. Here's how to reset the SMC on Macs with non-removable batteries. Shut down your MacBook. Hold Shift Control Option and the Power button at the same time for around 10 seconds. Release the keys at the same time and start your Mac as usual. To reset the SMC on Macs with removable batteries, you'll have to shut down your MacBook and remove the battery. Then hold down the Power button for 5 seconds and release. Reinstall the battery. Finally, start your Mac. If you have problems with Bluetooth on your Mac desktop, you'll need to Shut down your Mac and disconnect the power cord. Wait 15 seconds and reconnect the power cord. Turn on your Mac after another 5 seconds. Resetting the system management controller can resolve some issues on your Mac. If it didn't help you to solve the Bluetooth not available problem, here are some other solutions. Delete downloads. Have you downloaded any new applications or software programs recently? One of them could be corrupting your Bluetooth. It's best to remove any recently downloaded files to rule them out, if anything else. The easiest way to do this is with Clean My Mac X. It's a dedicated Mac cleaner software that can clean and speed up your MacBook in several seconds. If you've installed any app and you're worried that that's what might be causing issues with your Bluetooth, use Clean My Mac X to remove it altogether. Download Clean My Mac X. Grab the link in the description box. Then install the app. As you launch the app, choose Uninstaller. Select the apps you've recently downloaded. And finally, click Uninstall. Now, the suspicious applications are gone forever. Apart from recent downloads, probably every Mac contains old files that weren't even opened once. These may also create Bluetooth issues. Clean My Mac X helps you detect large and old files as well. Then click Large and Old Files and press Scan. Select the large files and hit the Remove button. You can also remove the downloads manually. Open the Finder, then press Command-Shift-G. Type this command. You can find this and other commands in the description box. Open Downloads folder and delete any downloaded file that you don't need. If there was a problem with some app or file, it should now be resolved. Although, if you still have an issue with Bluetooth, move on to the next tip. Delete plist files. plist, property list files, are used by Macs to store software user preferences for things like keyboard, mouse, and trackpad. 
It's rare, but not unheard of, for these files to become corrupted and affect Bluetooth connectivity. Deleting the plist files is a straightforward process. Close any app that is trying to connect with Bluetooth. Press Command-Shift-G in the Finder. Enter this command and click Go. Locate the com.apple.bluetooth.plist file and delete it. Reboot your Mac. The Preferences folder might contain other files with the same extension. Resetting Bluetooth will attempt to debug any issues. Here's how to do that on your MacBook. Hold Shift Option and click the Bluetooth menu in the Mac menu bar. Click Debug and select Remove All Devices. Click Debug again and select Reset the Bluetooth module. Then restart your Mac and repair each of your Bluetooth devices. I hope that helped. If you've exhausted all of the options, it could be that the problem is a serious hardware issue that requires the assistance of Apple support or an authorized third-party Apple specialist. That's all for today. Check out the description box for links and additional details. Thanks for watching.